Hello then guys, how's it going? I hope you're all keeping really well. I uh, just got a very short video for you today. I just wanted to raise a little bit of awareness for my friend Bill Blanchon and his friend Mike Cranfield, who have been putting some time into developing the HOO, SHO, in general, narrowband normalization tools. Um, it's now available inside PixInsight itself in a script format, if you will, rather than just discrete downloadable tools. And you install them from a repository. Now I'll link to it in the... Uh, description box down below but it's basically cosmicphotons.com forward slash pi modules etc etc once you're on the page that looks like this just click in the url bar Control a get the whole thing selected Control c get it copied open up your again latest version updated of PixInsight. go to resources updates manage repositories click add Control and v and that'll paste the address for you, click OK, and then OK once again. Now that's finished, go back up to resources, updates, and check for updates, and it should let you know that there is an update to be downloaded and installed, and it'll do it the next time you restart PixInsight, which I urge that you do immediately after. And then once you do, you should have access to this tool found right here. So underneath process, color, calibration, and you'll see narrowband normalization now. Once you click it open, you can save it just as normal, like you would all the rest of your other tools and such that you'd use in your own toolbox. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to demonstrate it really rapidly in a kind of hurried manner, to be honest with you, uh, on two quick sets of data. So this is just some one-shot color data on the rosette. As you can see, it's in a non-linear state, stars removed, uh, and the background has been neutralized, and that's the case for both of today's test images. So first of all, the one-shot color image uh, taken with the dual narrowband filter the really cool thing about these things being in pixie site as they are is uh, you can hit real-time preview and get you guessed it a real-time preview so uh, you can choose the palette they want obviously for one shot color images it's just going to be HOO there's different lightness methods uh, HA mode preserve mode oxygen 3 as I understand it is probably never really going to be used but it's in there for you in case there's some you know niche scenario where you need it now all the same as you can see when you change things you've got that instant update the you know the real strong point of um, real-time preview so you can just feel things out without actually having to commit straight away so you know oxygen 3 boost let's say i want some more okay looks good now it's too strong back looks about right to me uh, go ahead hit apply and I didn't have to try you know multiple iterations of this and settle on the one I wanted the most I was able to just select it um, right there from the real-time preview and now it would be very easy to take this image the rest of the way kind of thing I'll just do that for you actually uh, <laughs> what better way to prove the point using one of the uh, masking tools so let's make a quick yellow mask a very quick blur on it and now we've just curves, you know, boost up that red, boost up that green a bit, take down the green mids, bit of saturation, and you know, we're 90% we're there already straight away. It's, uh, so it's a time-saving device, uh, and I think it shows quite a lot of promise. So uh, that's that. I'll just go ahead and close down the tool right now and uh, remove that mask. I'm sure as you can see, if you weren't in such a hurried scenario uh, just how powerful these would be now uh, over onto an actual true SHO image taken with a monochrome camera uh, as you can see this has just been combined non-linear stars removed background neutralized I haven't taken any great care to do background extraction and stuff as this is just a demonstration so once again open up narrow and normalization this time we're going to change the palette of course to SHO and you can see now we've got the SCNR controls open. So if you want to do it kind of this way, bring it down, uh, that green level, and thus the rest of them come up. You can choose to have lightness uh, mode to HA like you usually would, or the special preserve mode. I kind of like the look of HA myself right there. But again, it's just the same sort of thing. Uh, you can say, let's say to yourself, you know, the O3 is too weak. O3 boost. Uh, the sulfur's looking a little bit weak. Sulfur boost. Mess the whole thing up, doesn't matter. You can reset them, or you can reset the whole tool straight away. You know what I mean? There's no 
kind of way, you know, you're not committing anything to this. It's very quick to just go back and forth and try again and again and again until you've got a result that you're happy with. Uh, and I think it's a cool tool. Uh, I'm looking forward to using them a bit more and getting, you know, actually used to it. As it is, I'm uh, I'm a total noob with them myself as it is. Uh, Bill's got a much more fully fledged video on this, but really, uh, as I said, this is just to raise some awareness around them and let you guys know that they are indeed available for you. So that's about it. I'll, I'll keep it as short as you possibly can be. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Cliss, guys.